Hey everyone, welcome to match one of four of Team Murktide Channeler. This match we're playing against Orzov Stoneblade. Deck deck was posted this morning. Check out the link in the description of this video if you want to check out more about this deck and learn more about it, see what it's all about. We get Inquisitioned here on a pretty weak hand, I have to admit, so that is pretty brutal. Murktide won't be seeing play for a little while here. Of course, second Inquisition. <laughs> I just wanted to concede right there. Oh, you could see how I was thinking. I was like, well, screw this. It was already a really weak starting hand and getting our hand stripped. And I draw another land on top of it. Here I was waiting to just like flip my flip my poop. Let's just put it that way. I guess that's the PG word to use. If I get Inquisition or Thought Seized here, I'm pretty sure I throw the mouse at the screen. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just I can't believe it. So I'm here I'm just gonna bolt them. And you know what? Three Inquisitions in a row on a weak hand. Have fun. I don't care. Like, I really don't care. Oh wow, look at that non-land draw. <laughs> yeah, just I would almost certainly cast Goyf here. Oh, I see here I rushed for Murktide, and this was a mistake. So I really should have gone for Goyf first. It just makes more sense to bait out any form of removal. So this was a very, this was just a mistake. So learn from my mistake. Bait out Goyf first. It is, Goyf is the weaker, is the weaker threat here in comparison to Murktide. So it would have been better to have Goyf first and then Murktide second. Fatal push, sure. So this is just a weird game. Look at that, two draws, my god. Two lands, this is just like basically going nowhere. This is my worst nightmare. I draw another land. My my hand is slow, like it keeps going towards the concession button. So I'm gonna play another Tarmogoy. If our opponent has two cards in hand, of course one of them is gonna be removal. Yeah, of course, of course it's removal. Of course it's removal. We'll fetch a card for the hell of it. We'll draw a lightning bolt, yay. Okay, great. This is a great game one. All right, so let's play Abundant Harvest. Draw an on land, it's a counter spell. I would prefer to threat, but okay. Let's see what they have now. I swear, I, like, at this point, I would counter anything <laughs> just because I'm pissed off. Okay, now they're vindicating our lands. I'm gonna let this resolve. This is what it's come to. Okay, there we go. Okay, Dragon's Race Channeler. Now I have Counterspell to protect it. Let's see. They'll probably cast another Vindicate, which is usually what my luck is. Let's see. Oh, a Field of Ruin. That's nice. So they're going to Vindicate and then Field of Ruin my stuff. That's just great. Okay, they're going to Field of Ruin my Steam Vents. Well, I can't really do much here. So I'm just going to, you know, cast Lightning Bolt. Force Negation on top. Yeah. I guess to stop any further Vindicates. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter actually, because I'm going to be going for that land. Whatever. Oh, look, another Vindicate. So I'm going to Counterspell all that. And I'm going to get to Surveil. Oh, look at that. Force Negation on top. This is some weird magic voodoo karma. Just really weird. So I'm going to attack again. This has been the most absurd match. Game one I've played in a long time. Look, my, my mouse was already going towards Force Negation. I don't care what this person is casting. It could have been, like, the worst card in Magic. Okay, there we go. We won. What an absurd game. Uh, but I'm just happy. I, I'm sure. when I, I think I remember when I was playing, I was like, good. Good. You freaking Inquisitioned me three turns in a row and then blew up a bunch of my lands. What are you? Um, but uh, realistically, Force Negation, probably not the best card to have here if they're Inquisitioning you that much. This hand is okay. My concern really is Inquisition here, but whatever. I mean, at that point. Okay, good. It's not. Great. 
I'm just gonna play, yeah, like a breeding pool or steam. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm just gonna pay their two life and bank on them playing a discard spell. Stoneforge, great. Well, I'm just gonna kill it immediately. Well, first let's see what they get because I don't want to see what they get here. You can see I was pretty tilted. <laughs> I'm kind of tilted just going through this whole process again. Uh, okay, let's take out Stoneforge. Great. Abundant Harvest is a card. I feel like I need another land, so I'm probably going to go land here. Yeah. Like I really do. I think this is fine. You can go fetch for another Breeding Pool if they target me, which I 99.99% .99 chance I will. Sword of Feast and Famine actually is just going to be countered, so I'm just going to do that. I guess I'm getting some justice here. Yeah. Goodbye. Stubborn Val's a thing. Okay, draw another land. Yeah, okay. It's a 6 7 Goyf is nothing to, to laugh at here. I welcome removal, as long as it just comes in one. <laughs> Let's see. What Kaya's Guile? Crap. Of all of the cards they could have cast, I'm like... Ah, oh, such a pain. I swear these Orzhov decks are just going to be the bane of my existence. The bane of my existence. And I draw to the land. It's so brutal. It's just so brutal. This is just like the worst thing I could see. <laughs> Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll play the stupid forest and then we'll leave it like that. All right. I'm going to get shambling vents to death. This is what I see coming. All right, let's go. You can blow up one of my lands. I'll still be able to play Veil of Summer. And I can't even do anything against this. So it's just going to resolve. I'm going to play Veil of Summer just to kind of stop their targeting. Return to Nature seems kind of anemic at the moment. I would like to draw a threat. Okay, I don't. I just see one. I mean, I could get rid of it, right? But I mean, it just seems like a waste right now. Not a card I see often, so I have to keep reading it. So, feel the ruin. Fantastic. Shambling vents. I told you. I'm going to get shambling vents to death. Can't do anything here. I was hoping it was like an artifact. <laughs> or an enchantment so I could re return to nature. But no, it's not, not going to happen. Ugh. Yeah. So, there's my goif. I think this is where I do, yeah, that's it. This is when we do the engineer explosives. So this is why I waited, because I didn't want to rush it out. I mean, it's not like I saw Dothy Voidwalker coming, obviously, but I just wanted to wait, because I knew I could do a blowout play like that. So here I'm not playing Tarmogoyf, which is smart, because I would rather play Tarmogoyf with Stubborn and Isle up. So here I'm gonna get Shambling Vents to death again. Points at 24 life. I'm not really worried about their life total. So Lightning Bolt's great, because I'm going to kill that stupid Shambling Vents. Nothing feels better than killing a Man Land. Like, almost nothing feels better. Because it's just so brutal. You're getting rid of a threat that your opponent was counting on, plus... Alright, dude. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Kill the Ruin was fine, but now with Vindicate. Just makes me want to play Black White X, so I could do it myself. So there we go. Now we can stop Fatal Push. Stoneforge Mystic is going to come down. I'm actually okay with keeping Stoneforge alive right now. Almost certain, because I could just destroy... Oh no, I can't destroy that. 
This is going to be brutal. Draw a card, sure. Yeah, okay. It doesn't really matter because they are going to cast it next turn, but I luckily draw a counter spell in the nick of time. That pretty much wins me the game. Because I would not have been able to take out call the Cauldra. Indestructible. That's really what makes it kind of above Batter Skull in many ways, is the fact that you can't destroy it. Whereas with Batter Skull, you can bring an artifact hate and just deal with it, and here I think we get a concession. Yeah, alright, cool. We got it. So yeah, that was brutal. That, that, that was brutal. Um, I hope you learned some things here about not rushing out your best threat first, which I should know better. I mean, I've been playing this style of magic for six plus years, and I still did it, which I shouldn't have. I think I was just kind of excited to get Merktide region out, and uh, which is not a good excuse, but it is what happened, most likely, knowing myself, when I should have led with Tarmogoyf as kind of like the bait card. Anyway, we learned, we won anyway from that ridiculous game one. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of how this match went. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, share my content on social media, watch it start to finish like you're doing right now. All this stuff really helps me out a lot. I say the same stuff all the time, but it's true. If you want to support me on Patreon, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video as well. My Patreon is set up to make you money, not really make me money. The Patreon money that I collect is for sealed boosters opening, uh, sealed booster box openings that I do on this channel. All the valuable rares and mythics get sent back to all the patrons in the form of Patreon rewards. Anyway, all that information is on Patreon. Check it out. I think it's worthwhile if you can scrimp five bucks a month. If you can't, no problem. Just watching and sharing my content is good enough, and I appreciate every, every bit of it. Thanks, and have a good one.